<laughs> ah, banyak orang masuk sekarang. Okay, so welcome everyone. So just gonna start only. Kamu datang masa tepat. <laughs> start share. Okay, so today we will do progression ah, semua bab janjang. For those learn in BM is janjang. Okay, so ah uh, first video, first class saya dah buat bab janjang. Saya dah explain basic dan kita pernah go to sedikit soalan kat part pertama. Kelas pertama yang saya buat tentang janjang. Macam soalan ni. Kamu boleh tengok recording, okay guys, kat YouTube saya. Saya dah explain seluruh soalan ini. Macam ni, ini contoh soalan yang pernah saya buat lah. Okay. So, like this, ini juga satu soalan yang pernah kita buat. So, today, hari ni kita lebih kepada soalan aplikasi. More on application questions for progression. Okay, guys. So, hope you understand apa yang kita akan buat hari ni. Okay, lebih kepada soalan aplikasi. Okay, so first question, let's read together, guys. Baca soalan sama-sama. So, okay. Okay, so they say, diagram two shows a section of piles. Yang BM, but tolong baca ke atas, okay? Uh, users in a bridge construction, okay? So, height of the first pile is 16 meter, okay, guys? Kalau kamu nampak info macam ni, height of first pile is 16 meter. Apa yang kamu boleh keluarkan? What is the info that you can type out for me? Height of first pile, 16 meter. Yes, A. A equals? A sama dengan apa? Yes, very good, Sugan. A equal 16. Very good, Uma. Okay, so ini adalah info pertama kamu. A sama dengan 16. Good. Okay, so first part you all done correctly, Adi. So next part. Part yang kedua. Height of each subsequent pile increases by 2 meter. Apa yang diwakili oleh 2 meter, guys? What does 2 meter represent? Yes, correct, Sugan. D. Betul lah. Tak ada yang salah. Sebab mungkin kadang-kadang orang confuse D dengan R. Okay, so jangan confuse yang ni. R untuk janjang geometri. D untuk janjang arithmetic. Okay, ada perbezaan dia. Kalau mereka kata increase by 2 meter, maksud dia tambah. Tambah 2 meter, tambah 2 meter macam tu. Okay, so hope you understand this concept. Okay, so this one done. So next one. Uh, oil piles have same radius ah guys semua pile kat sini ada uh, nilai jejari yang sama saja 4 meter jejari okey so bila kamu nak cari isi part 2 mereka dah bagi formula kat kamu pi r square h okey ini adalah isi part 2 cylinder the volume of a cylinder formula okey so when you sub into the r you sub 4 okey guys kamu kena gantikan nilai dia dengan 4 H dia adalah yang ni, 16, 18, 20 sebab height increases by 2, bertambah 2. Okay, so nilai-nilai yang H ni akan selalu berubah dari silinder ke silinder. The value of H will keep on changing from the first cylinder to second to third like that. But R always constant. R adalah pemala kat sini. Okay, pi pastinya pemala lah. Pi nilai dia 22 per 7. Pi value is 22 over 7. Okay guys, so uh, can you understand up till now apa kehendak soalan ni before we go to the question? Do you all understand? Okay, good. Huh? Mm, okay. So next part. Ah, one more question guys. Nilai pi ni, I just want to ask you all lah sedikit. Pi R square H kan, formula cylinder. Nilai pi ni perlukah kita gantikan dengan apa-apa nilai kat sini? Do we need to substitute pi with 22 over 7 or 3.142? Kalau kamu uh, ingat, just a feeling. No, correct. Very good, Sugan. Kamu tak perlu gantikan nilai pi ni sebenarnya. You don't need to substitute any value into pi. Mengapa? Why, do we, why tak perlu gantikan nilai? Sebab mereka tak bagi pun kat soalan pi sangat. Pi sama dengan apa? The question didn't give you. Usually dalam matematik biasa kamu pernah lihat kan? Mereka akan tulis pi sama dengan 22 per 7 atau 3.142. Kamu pernah nampak ni tak guys? Have you all seen like this? Kat tepi soalan mereka akan tulis? Pernah, pernah, pernah. pernah. Ah, tapi kat sini kamu nampak seluruh soalan, the whole question, tak ada apa-apa pun. Ah, so that's, ini adalah key bagi kamu. Tak perlu... Uh, you don't have to actually 
uh, what sub the value of pi dalam formula tak perlu gantikan pun tinggalkan macam pi je okay just leave it as pi okay so now we read the question together so see this one first first question calculate the volume of 14 pile okay guys 14 pile kita guna simbol apa dalam janjang what do we what symbol do we use to represent 14 pile Yes, Tn, correct. What is the N value? Apa nilai N dalam soalan ni? Yes, correct, who said. T14. Okay, guys, ingat T14. Kita nak cari the 14 term, sebutan ke-14. Bukan S, ha? kita tak guna S kat sini. Jangan confuse. Sebab mereka nak yang ni saja. Mereka tak mau kamu tambah semua nilai-nilai uh, uh, bagi silinder. You no need to add up all the values of the cylinders to get uh, the answer. Okay? Begu, ya? kalau S untuk apa? S untuk tambah keseluruhan isi padu ni. Maksudnya kamu tambah isi padu ni dengan yang ni, dengan yang ni. Macam oh, okey, okey, okey. Okay, okay. Tapi yang ni mereka nak yang ni saja, Isi padu satu saja. Oh, okey. Hmm. Sum, ya betul. Hasil tambah. Okay, so hope you understand. So next one. Ah, uh, Okay, so T14, right? Sekarang kita nak cari T14 untuk yang A. So, apa formula guys? Can you all recall arithmetic progression formula? Boleh tak kamu type kat saya? What is the formula we use? For some, apa, I mean for a number of terms, apa formula yang kita guna? Yes, correct, Sugan. Correct, we said A plus N minus 1 D. Ini adalah formula, the formula dia, guys. Tapi tak perlu hafal. You don't need to remember this. Why? Because formula ni diberi dalam senarai formula. It's already given the formula sheet. This formula. So, you don't need to memorize lah. Okay? So, now, masalah dia, guys. Can I ask you all? Adakah kamu mempunyai nilai A dan D kamu kat sini? Do you have your A and D values right now, guys? What I wrong? Oh, ya, 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 formula sedikit salah. Eh, ada. Are you sure, guys? You have your A and D value. A dan D kat soalan ni mewakili apa, guys? What does A and D represent this question? Kena hati-hati. Mereka nak wakili apa kat sini, A dan D? What does A and D represent? Adakah ia mewakili... Ah, bukan yang tu. Adakah dia mewakili ketinggian, isi padu, jejari, apa? Yang A dan D ni. Does it represent the height of the cylinder, the radius, the volume, which one? Kamu kena tahu yang tu dulu. Baru kamu boleh kira. Any idea? Yes, betul. Isi padu, correct. Yeah. Uh, A is first term. Ya, yeah, soda. A is the first term of the progression sebutan pertama janjang ni okay a is always first term ah uh, sugan height ah uh, no a is actually representing the first cylinder volume that's why it's called the first term lah first cylinder volume isi padu cylinder yang pertama okay so hope you understand this difference common difference over here represent ah uh, beza isi padu the difference in volume Antara silinder pertama dengan kedua. First dengan second lah. The difference in the volume of the first and second cylinder. Okay guys, can you understand this? Boleh faham tak? Because they want you to count volume. Ingat balik soalan. Mereka nak kira isi padu. Bukan quantity lain. They only want to count volume, not other quantities. Okay, so good. So next one. Ah, uh, One more time. Okay, okay, wait. Maybe I went too fast to the formula. That's why I went. Uh -huh. Up first. Okay, so this question, right? They actually ask, calculate the volume of the 14 pile. Okay, but the 14 pile, the problem is mereka tak bagi info kat sini dalam soalan. They don't provide info on the radius or the height of the 14 pile. This is the first pile. This is the second pile. This is the third pile. This one is unknown pile. Lah. We don't know what. Maybe this is the 14 pile. But we don't know what is this height now. So that is the problem. That's why kita kena guna formula. This formula. A plus N minus 1D. To find out the volume over here. 
So A and D actually will represent the volume for this one and the D represent the difference between these two volumes. Okay, so can you understand now, Yasoda? This is what the question want you to find now. Eh, hey, Shankari, sorry. <laughs> I thought you asked the question. Okay, good now. <laughs> okay, so mixed identity, Eddie. So now we see the A question. So A, so first of all, guys, kita kena cari the volume of the first cylinder. We have to find the EC padu cylinder yang pertama. Okay, baru kita boleh tahu nilai A dia kan? Because volume of first cylinder sama dengan nilai A. As well as I explained just now. The EC padu for cylinder pertama sama dengan nilai A. So macam mana formula dia? Same only. Volume of cylinder is pi r square h. Okay, so pi kamu tinggal saja. Jangan gantikan dengan apa-apa nilai. Don't sub pi with any values. Huh? So you write pi. Okay, radius. Guys, you still ingat tak? What is the radius for this cylinder? Boleh siapa-siapa bagi tahu? What is the value of the radius? Jejari dia. Nilai dia berapa? Yes, correct, Sugan. 4. Okay, 4 square. Kalau siapa-siapa tertanya, macam mana dapat 4? Kat sini, soalan dah nyatakan. All, all piles have same radius. Maksudnya, dari pile pertama sampai pile yang ke taktau, uh, uh, jejari dia adalah sama panjang. 4 meter. Tak berubah pun. Okay, same value only. So, that's why kita boleh gantikan 4. And then height, guys. Apa, what is the value for height based on the question? Yes, correct, Sugan. 16 meter. Eh, 42? How you get 42? 42. Uh, I don't know how you get 42. This one is the height for the first cylinder. Ketinggian cylinder pertama. Already shown in the question. Okay, so don't, I don't know how you actually get the 42, but never mind. Okay, wait. Uh. So you will sub inside 16. Kamu akan gantikan nilai 16 kat sini. So try to count, you will get an answer of 2565 meter cube. For your first cylinder, okay? This is your A value, nilai A. Okay, guys, so now formula dia balik. We call the formula. How to find the 14th cylinder volume. Macam mana nak cari isi padu cylinder yang ke-14? This is the formula that we use. Okay, so kita dah cari A. We know the value of A over here, kat sini. Kita nak 14 cylinder. Cylinder ke-14. Kita dah tahu nilai N dah. So now what is lacking guys? Apa yang kita tak tahu lagi adalah nilai D. So macam mana nak cari nilai D guys? How do we find it? Anyone got idea? D is, uh, I rasa kamu akan tahu lah. So can you give me idea? Macam mana nak cari nilai D sekarang? Kena kira apa sekarang? What do we have to count now? The missing info. Yes, very good Sugan. Find the volume of the second file. Why you must find volume of second file? Mengapa? Sebab kita nak tolak dengan uh, isi padu ni. Kita nak tolak isi padu silinder kedua dengan isi padu silinder pertama. Okay, so now we do the same step. Kita buat step yang sama. Cari volume balik. Pi R square H. So pi tinggal R masih sama. 4 kuasa 2. What is the height guys? Second silinder. Can anyone tell? Apa nilai ketinggian dia? Yes, correct Sugan. 18. The diagram pun dah bagi tahu kat kamu. Okay, so just refer back the diagram. So, kalau kamu kira, you will get, kamu akan dapat nilai dia 288 pi. Okay, you will get a value of 288 pi meter cube. Okay, so until here semua, boleh faham? Can you understand? Or am I too fast? Adakah saya? Boleh, boleh, boleh. Boleh, ya? Paste dia, okay. So sekarang, if you understand now this guys, can you tell me apa nilai D kamu berdasarkan kedua-dua nilai ni? What is the value of D kat sini? Apa nilai D? Tertitu itu sahaja, Uma? Kamu tertinggal satu simbol. Yes, Sugan, tertitu itu pi. Kena ada pi guys. Sebab kalau pi tolak dengan pi masih akan jadi pi. Tak jadi kosong. It won't become zero. Sebab ada nilai kat depan. Macam 3x tolak 2x. Eh, ini tak boleh, sorry. 4x tolak 2x. Kamu tak akan tulis 2 saja kan? You won't only write 2. The answer is 2x. So, kena ada x kat sini. 
sama dengan pi bila kamu tolak dua nombor. The same concept apply. Okay, so d equal to 288 pi minus 256 pi, you will get macam sugan tulis tu, 32 pi meter cube. Okay, so sekarang kamu boleh kira jawapan kamu dah. Okay, so can anyone tell me what's your final answer? Based on all this, kamu gantikan dalam formula guna nilai ni. Can you tell me your final answer? 14 pi lah, kita nak T14 sekarang. Jawapan bagi yang ni. Cuba kira sikit. Hati-hati dengan simbol pi ya, jangan tertinggal yang tu. Don't leave out the pi symbol when you count. Kalau dapat jawapan boleh share ya guys, if you get the answer. Kalau siapa-siapa tak tahu buat also tell lah. If you don't know how to get the answer, please tell in the chat box now. 672 pi. Yes, correct Sugan. Okay, so jawapan yang Sugan dan Nashwell bagi betul. 672 pi. Okay, so macam mana kamu buat guna formula aritmetik balik. Tn sama dengan A plus N minus 1D. So now kita nak 14 cylinder means N equals 14. Okay, so A tadi what value we got? A is equal 256 pi. So kamu tulis balik. You write back 256 pi plus N is 14 minus 1 D. D nilai dia apa? D sini 32 pi. Okay. So dari sini you just press calculator only. You should be able to get the answer. So 256 pi tambah dengan 32 pi darab dengan 13. Macam ni. So kalau kamu tekan uh, 32 times 13 plus 256 you will get 672. So, so betul jawapan dia. Okay guys can you understand soalan ni? Boleh faham? Setakat ni, kita dah habis soalan A dah. Okay, bagus lah. I, hope, I harap penjelasan, eh, penerangan saya jelas lah. Okay, so next question. Uh, soalan B pula. Okay, so we read the question lah. Huh? Okay, ha, total volume guys. So, hati-hati dengan keyword ni. Apa yang diwakili oleh total volume? Can you all type out for me? Apa simbol dia? What's the symbol? Yes, very good, Sugan. SN. Remember, guys, not TN. Ha? Tak boleh TN. Bila nampak je perkataan jumlah atau total terus dalam fikiran kamu tulis kat kertas SN. Jangan fikir benda-benda lain dah. Okay? So, SN sama dengan mereka dah bagi nilai. 4,000 pi. Okay, tugas sekarang kamu nak cari nilai N. Okay, so kamu kena guna baliklah formula dia untuk aritmetik, sum, hasil tambah formula dia. So macam mana formula dia? Macam ni, SN sama dengan N per 2, 2A tambah N minus 1D. Okay, so jangan risau if you cannot remember guys, kalau kamu tak boleh hafal seluruh yang ni, formula ni juga diberi dalam kertas exam kamu. Kat SPM lah. Sekolah saya rasa pasti akan bagi. Okay. So, dari sini kamu boleh uh, proceed jalan kira kamu. So, macam mana? Kamu gantikan dulu. SN, you substitute 4,000 pi. Uh, so, sekarang kamu nak nilai N. So, N kamu tak boleh gantikan lah apa-apa nilai kat sini. So, N kamu tinggal. Lepas tu, A dan D. A dan D sekarang kamu nak ganti apa guys? What will you substitute the values of A and D over here? Ah, uh, No worries Jason, it's alright. Yeah, yeah, question B. Kalau A kamu tak datang mungkin. Yes, correct Sugan, the value above. Means uh, nilai A dan D kamu yang dapat di A, kamu gantikan balik saja di B. Itu cara kamu buat. Sebab dua-dua soalan ni berkait, is related. Okay, so kamu kena guna balik nilai di atas. Use back the above value to find your answers. Okay, so A tadi I already got 256 pi plus N kita tak tahu. So kita tinggalkan saja sebagai N. 
So you will get n minus 1. D is 32 pi. Okay, so ini adalah equation dia. Nampak complex lah guys. Look complex but jangan risau. Senang saja nak buat sebenarnya. Not that difficult also. Okay, so kamu cuba uh, kukuhkan algebra kamu. Master your algebra so that kamu boleh solve soalan macam ni. So 2 times 2, 5, 6, pi. Kamu akan dapat pi 1, 2, pi. Tambah dengan yang ni kamu kembangkan kat dalam. 32 pi kamu kembangkan kat n dan 1. You expand 32 pi to n and 1. You will get 32 pi n minus 32 pi. Sampai sini boleh faham tak guys? Can you understand algebra saya sampai langkah ni? Boleh, boleh, boleh. Okay. Ha? Boleh, boleh. Okay. So 4000 pi kita continue lagi. Kita nak cari n sekarang. So n over 2. 32 pi n tak boleh buat apa-apa. Yang ni guys, kamu boleh tolak dan cari nilai. 5, 1, 2, tolak 32, kamu akan dapat 480 pi. You will get 480 pi. Okay. So, from here, dari sini, kamu boleh buat satu perkara. Kalau kamu perasan kat sini, per 2 kan. Maksud dia, setiap ni kamu boleh bahagi dengan 2. You can divide each term by 2. Okay, so 4000 pi will equal to 16 pi n tambah dengan 240 pi. Okay, so langkah ni boleh faham guys? Can you understand apa yang saya buat kat sini? Sekarang kamu boleh nampak satu perkara dah. Eh, wait, betul ke saya buat? Wait nak lah. Pi n. Eh, wait, saya rasa saya tertinggal sesuatu. Uh... Wait, what if I times 2 with 4,000? Times 2, ya boleh juga Sugan. You can times the whole equation by 2 also. Kamu boleh darab seluruh persamaan ni dengan 2. Untuk hapuskan 2 ni. So yang ni akan jadi 8,000 lah. 4,000 darab 2 jadi 8,000. Okay, others kamu salin balik saja. Okay, so hope you understand. Ah, This one lah saya buat salah kat sini. This one should be 16 pi n square. Okay, sebab N kamu akan darab masuk. Okay, you will times N. So, darab masuk kat sini dan darab masuk kat sini juga. So, akan dapat macam ni. Okay, can you understand yang ni guys? Can you understand this part? Baris yang ni. Sebab selepas ni kita nak buat pemfaktoran dah. We want to do factorization. Okay, so I hope everyone understand. Ah, Boleh ya. Eh? Okay, can. So, this one, guys, can you identify for me what type of equation is this, guys? Apa jenis persamaan ni? I hope you can see it. Yes, correct, Sugan, quadratic. Okay, so jangan terganggu dengan pi, pi yang ni semua. Sebab pi ada nilai dia. Pi has its own value, you can substitute. You will get a whole number. So, kamu nampak kat sini, n kuasa 2, n dengan constant. So, reminds you of ax square tambah bx tambah C sama dengan kosong. Persamaan am bagi ungkapan kuadratik. The general form of a quadratic expression. Okay, same only. So, kalau kamu nak bentuk dia macam ni, you have to rearrange a bit. Kamu kena susun balik sikit persamaan dia. So, sad ah. Okay, so yang ni, 16 pi n square tambah dengan 240 pi n. Yang ni kamu bawa kat sini. You bring it to the right hand side. Tolak 4000 pi sama dengan kosong. Okay, so sekarang kamu boleh nampak dah kuadratik dia sama dengan yang ni. Okay, the same thing. How to know when to use quadratic or geo? Ah, uh, yeah, so that the comparison is arithmetic and geometric only. There's no quadratic and geometric. This chapter got two type of progression only. Arithmetic or geometric. This one is the bentuk we form after we... Ah, uh, arithmetic, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, you have to see the question lah. It depends on the question actually. Segala-galanya bergantung pada soalan. So you see the keyword over here. Try to identify a keyword here. Wait, nah. Can you see this one here? Increases by 2 meter. You think increases by 2 meter is plus 2 or times 2? Can you answer me this question? Which one? Hmm, plus 2. Correct. 
So plus is arithmetic. Plus and minus arithmetic times divide geometric. Okay, so does this make you understand now? You have to look back at the question. Uh, don't try to assume without seeing the question. Okay, so from here, uh, dari sini guys, apa langkah yang saya boleh buat dari sini? What is the step I can take guys? Ada satu lagi perkara yang saya boleh buat before I get my end value. Yes, correct Sugan, correct. Simplify, ringkaskan persamaan ni. Macam mana nak ringkaskan? Cuba cari faktor serupa. Find the common factor of all the three numbers over here. What is the common factor, guys? Can you tell me? Apa kita nak bahagi? Dua, okay? Lebih besar nombor. Yes, correct, Sugan. Four is the largest number, actually. Eh, wait, wait, wait. No, no. Boleh lagi besar. Ada tries? Cuba dalam calculator. Cuba bahagi. Yes, correct. Maha Lakshmi. 16, actually. 16 adalah terbesar. Not yet 8. 8 also can, tapi the paling besar is actually 16. If you try out lah. So, if you bahagi 16, yang ni akan dapat, eh, not 16 only. Kamu boleh bahagi dengan 16 pi sebenarnya. Why? Sebab kamu lihat pi, pi dengan pi. You want to cancel off the pi. Means you divide the whole equation by 16 pi. Boleh faham step D guys? Can you understand this step? Because I want to cut the pi. Saya nak potong pi tu. Hmm. Okay, so you will get n square tambah dengan 15n tolak 250 equal 0. Ah, very quadratic like, right? You can see the quadratic. Ah, uh, why not minus? Which one, Zifeng? Which one you mean minus? Minus which one? Is it this one? Uh? This one you mean you don't know why minus? Uh? Is it this one? The 4005? Oh, divide 16. Okay, so 16. If you try in your calculator, uh, Zifeng, 16 divide 16. Do you get the whole number? Can you, can you respond to me? 16 divide 16. Do you get whole number? Huh? No. Uh. 16 divide 16, you get 1, you know. 1 is a whole number. Ah, any number that don't have decimal is called whole number, guys. Mana-mana nombor yang tak dapat perpuluhan is called nombor bulat. Ah, nombor bulat dalam BM. If Zifeng learn in BM, you learn in BM, ah, Zifeng. Because I scared I have explained English, you might not understand. If you learn English, then I use English lah with you. So you try again, second number. Huh? Form 3 ya? Eh, eh, wrong class. Form 3 tak boleh belajar yang ni lah. This one is at maths. Oh my god. <laughs> Why you come the class? <laughs> wow, this guy damn pro lah. Form 3 itself want to learn at maths already. Respect. Oh, boleh tengok. Okay, you want to learn lah. Okay, I swear with you. Never mind. 240 divide 16, Zifeng. Oh, minat. Wah, bagus lah. If everyone here cut form 4, form 5 have the same minat as Zifeng, I swear you all score A plus already lah at maths. Easily. <laughs> Sebab dia form 3 dah nak masuk kelas saya. <laughs> okay, so 240 divide 16, Zifeng. Can you try? Do you get whole number or not? Can you respond to me? I'm trying to explain mengapa kena bahagi seluruh persamaan ni dengan 16 plus 5. Try to divide 240 and 16. What do you get? You get 15 actually. 15 is a whole number. Okay? Huh? 161. Huh? 240 divide 16, Zifeng. Not minus. Huh? Divide. Divide 16. Okay? Bahagi. And then this one also you try. 4000 pi divide 16 pi. Uh, you will get 250. So that is why saya kata you can divide the whole equation by 16 pi. Okay? So, you might not understand quadratic right now, I think, but I hope you understand what I say here lah, because you're only form 3, okay? So, hope you understand this one lah. So, from here, now we proceed lah, guys. This quadratic equation. Yeah, correct, Andy. Because usually, saya nak kat depan ni satu saja. That is easier to factorize. When here at the mid at the front of the n square, per kali n square ni, the coefficient of n square is 1, is easier to what process from factor 1. 
So that is why I divide by 16. Okay. So this one, when you factorize, guys, boleh tak kamu semua bagi jawapan kat saya? What is the n value you get? You will have two n value. Dua nilai n. Cuba kat calculator. Yes, correct, Sugan. N minus 10. N plus 25. Okay. So nilai n kamu akan dapat n sama dengan 10. N sama dengan negatif 25. Okay, guys, crucial question. Soalan penting. Kamu ada dua nilai n kat sini. Adakah kamu akan terima kedua-dua nilai N? Will you accept both N, N value in the question? No. Yes. Very good. Ya, yeah, very good. Ambil yang positif. Mengapa kamu kena tahu N ni mewakili apa guys? What does N represent over here? N represent number of term. N mewakili bilangan sebutan dia. So adakah uh, possible for N to be negative? Can you answer this? Number of term to be negative. Ada kebangkalian tak? Hmm, tak ada lah. Betul. That's why kita ambil N sama dengan 10. Okay, so ini jawapan dia. Habis dah. Mereka nak nilai N saja. So therefore, N is 10. Okay, understand this whole question guys? Boleh faham? Okay, understand ah, Good. So next question. Uh, number 3 already now. Wait now. Nah. Number three, okay. So now we try to see. First of all, ah, soalan pun dah tanya. Suruh kamu identify adakah yang ni janjang aritmetik atau janjang geometri. Okay, so this is the question they ask already. So, if you see directly guys, kalau kamu nampak terus tanpa sebarang jalan kira, is this aritmetik or geometric? Can you see pattern dia? Perimeter, ah, kita compare perimeter sekarang. Yes, correct, Sugan, arithmetic. Okay, so kamu boleh lihat directly tanpa buat working sebenarnya. Ah, Jason, how you get geometry? You see this itself can tell you the answer already. Cuba nampak kat sini, guys. P, jadi P tambah Q, jadi P tambah 2Q. Jadi beza serupa kat sini berapa, guys? Yes, correct, you already saw it. The common difference, beza serupa tambah Q. Tanpa Q, jadi Q. Maksudnya tambah satu Q lah. Q kepada 2Q maksud tambah juga 1Q. Okay, so uh, hubungan dia adalah tambah. The relationship is plus. Plus is arithmetic progression. Okay, ini adalah hubungan dia. Tapi uh, careful lah guys. Mereka nak perimeter sebenarnya. They don't want only this length. Mereka tak mau sisi ni saja. So perimeter. They said this is square. So square sisi dia sama panjang kan? So, oh. Uh, Nadia, yang tu saya dah terangkan kat kelas pertama dah. Kamu boleh tengok recording yang tu. Because I explain detail over there. Di sekarang kita buat kat soalan dah. Kita aplikasi. Uh, last week saya dah buat. Okay, so saya tak mau ulang lah. Nanti drag class. Cannot finish this one. Okay, so. Ya, yeah, arithmetic plus minus geometric times divide. Itu adalah yang paling ringkas lah. Kamu kena faham. Yang detail-detail tu kamu lihat kat video. Hmm. Okay, so uh, perimeter. So can you tell me guys, apa nilai perimeter untuk segi empat sama pertama? What is the perimeter for first square? Yes, very good Farihin. Very good Nadia. Wah, bagus. Semua tahu yang ni, 4P. Yang kedua pula guys, apa perimeter dia? Yang ni kena pelan sikit. Ah, uh, kena bracket ah Nadia. Careful, careful. Ya, yeah. uh, sugar not 2p plus 2q. Got four side means times four. 4p plus q means you will get ah uh, equals 4p plus 4q. Okay, so be careful for that one. So next one, ah uh, this one pula guys. What is the perimeter untuk yang ni? Apa nilai perimeter dia? Yes, correct. 4P plus 8Q. Very good, everyone. Okay, so now, kamu boleh identify tak? What is the common difference over here? Can you all tell me? Ini sebutan pertama, yang ni sebutan kedua. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mental arithmetic yang ni. Sangat pantas semua. <laughs> okay, so what? Apa nilai D kat sini? Yang kamu boleh kenal pasti. What's the common difference value over here? Huh? Plus Q lah. 
Hmm, 4Q betul. 4Q dan atas tu kosong. Maksud dia D is 4Q. Okay, don't refer to the first ah uh, yang saya tanya yang ni. Sebab sekarang kita compare perimeter, bukan panjang sisi. We are comparing now the perimeter of each square, not the length of each side only. So kena darab empat. So that's why jadi empat Q. Okay. So macam mana kamu jawab soalan ni? Therefore you say ah uh, this progression is arithmetic. Kamu jawab balik soalan. So macam mana nak buktikan guys? How do we prove this progression is arithmetic? Apa sebab yang kamu akan tulis kat soalan? Kalau yang ni keluar kat exam kamu, how will you write it? Cuba anggap soalan ni keluar dalam exam kamu. What is your reason? Apa justifikasi kamu? Because apa point yang menyokong janjang ni adalah arithmetic dan bukan geometri? Keyword. Yes, correct. Has a common difference. You hit the point. Kerana perimeter bertambah 4Q. Also correct. So 4Q is indirectly the common difference lah. Secara tak langsung kamu maksud common difference. Okay, so because common difference is 4Q. Kamu boleh nyatakan nilai dia juga. Then you get the marks lah. Okay, 3 mark. So kamu kena tunjuk yang step ni juga guys. Kamu kira yang perimeter yang ni dengan yang ni dengan yang uh, 4P tambah 8Q. Baru boleh dapat 3 marka. Kalau kamu tulis janjang aritmetik dan perimeter bertambah 4Q, kamu hanya entitled to get 2 marks only. So, kamu kena buat satu lagi jalan kira. Baru boleh dapat satu lagi marka plus 1. Okay. So, can you understand up till now? Boleh faham? First question part 1 we done already. Okay, good. So, now part B. Okay, so part B, now they say if I need uh, progress to, yes, correct, Jason. Progression is janjang in BM. Hmm. Okay, correct. Okay, so now they say I need manage to form 10 square. Okay, 10 square, guys. Apa yang kita boleh wakili? Simbol apa? What do, can we use to represent 10 square? Eh, bukan. Bukan as 10. 10 square. Square tu bilangan, 10 square. Bilangan kita guna simbol apa? Quantity. Dalam janjang. What? Yes, correct Nadia. Correct Farihin. N. Ingat lah guys. Quantity is N. S10 kamu nak uh, tambah 10 square tu. Kami tak mau tambah. Kami tahu mau yang bilangan sebutan saja. Okay, so. Okay, so yang ni kamu kena tahu yang ni lah. Uh, so now we want S10. Okay, so S10, uh, saat, uh, kamu kena lihat kat atas juga. Ada info kat atas ini. Uh, yang ni penting. I ni guna dawai dengan panjang W meter. So W meter ni guys mewakili apa? Can you tell me what does W meter represent kat sini? Adakah dia mewakili TN? Adakah dia mewakili SN? Atau lain-lain lagi? Are you sure T? Yes, Sugan, S. Kamu cuba bayangkan. Kamu akan guna W meter ni untuk bentuk yang ni, yang ni, yang ni dengan yang square-square segi empat yang akan datang. Maksud dia W ni adalah hasil tambah perimeter semua segi empat sama. Boleh bayangkan tak Nadia yang ni? Ah, Kamu guna W meter untuk macam sepuluh segi empat sama. Ah, maksud kamu akan tambah hasil perimeter mereka masing-masing. Tambah, 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 kamu akan dapat total W lah. Tapi kamu kena ingat, W ni dalam meter. Perimeter yang kamu kira ni dalam sentimeter. So, kena tukar ah guys, you have to change. Ah, mengikut pertambahan. S maksud pertambahan. T maksud kita nak nilai ah, sesuatu sebutan yang spesifik saja. Okay, so S is the sum of terms and uh, T we want a specific term value only. So can you tell me guys, W meter in centimeter apa nilai dia? Cuba convert. Nilai, ah uh, ya, yeah, correct. 100 W. Okay, correct. Meter kepada centimeter kita darab 100. Jadi W darab 100 dapat 100 W lah. 
100 times W equal 100 W. Okay, so now kita boleh selesaikan soalan ni sebab semua nilai kita dalam sentimeter. Okay, so sekarang dia boleh bentuk 10 square. So tadi kita dah buat, kita boleh tulis S10 sama dengan 100 W. Okay, so boleh boleh faham yang ni tak guys? Can you understand this info? Boleh ya? Yang tu kat atas soalan kita dapat info ni. Hmm? Okay, so sekarang S10. Kita guna formula arithmetic atau geometric guys. Ya, ya. Sekarang saya akan tulis formula. Do we use arithmetic or geometry? Yes, correct. Uh, S and N. Uh. S, S and N come together, Jason. Dia datang dalam satu package macam ni. S N. Hasil tambah bilangan sebutan. Tak ada S dan N uh, separately. It's combined. Uh, something like T N. T N juga kita tulis macam sebelahan kan. So sama dengan yang ni. S N. Sama saja. Uh, sum of n in English Okay So now uh, people respond already So they say arithmetic Okay, correct So arithmetic formula We call balik guys N over 2 2a plus n minus 1d Sama dengan 100 w Okay, so jangan risau Soalan dah kata kat sini You don't have to find any values mereka nak kamu ungkapkan W dalam sebutan PQ. Means you want to express only. We don't want to find value over here. Okay. So N kamu akan ganti 10. So A value. What will be the A and D value here guys? Yes, correct. For P and for Q. Yeah, betul. Guna balik nilai kan soalan A. Use back the values you obtain in A. Minus 1 for Q. Okay, so sekarang saya rasa kamu boleh ungkapkan dah. Mereka nak W dalam sebutan PQ. So can you tell me the answer guys? Apa nilai dia? Dari sini algebra je. Basic algebra. Kalau kamu boleh dapat sampai sini, maksud uh, high chance your answer akan betul lah. Kecuali kamu buat cuai lah. So can you type out your final answer? Saya nak tengok ada tak yang struggle dengan algebra kat sini. Atas sikit. Macam ni boleh? Hmm. Ya, yeah, very good. Betul jawapan dia. W equals 2P plus 9Q bagi 5. Accurate. Okay, so that is the answer guys. Kalau kamu nak refer, refer pada jawapan tu. Okay, so I'll show the step also. Saya akan tunjuk macam mana dapat yang tu. So, 10 divide 2 akan dapat 5. 2 darab 4P, you get 8P. Tambah dengan 9 darab 4, kamu akan dapat 36Q. 100W. Lepas tu kat 5 ni, kamu boleh pindah sebelah. So, you will get 8P plus 36Q equal to 20W. Okay, so W akan sama dengan 8P plus 36Q over 20. Okay guys, saya nak tanya. Kalau saya tinggal jawapan kat sini, do I get the mark? Adakah saya dapat markah? Jawapan dia betul tau. No, very good. Bagus. Eh, Nadia jangan confuse. Saya tanya soalan ni for a reason. No, ah. Huh? Admats again, mathematics, admats, bentuk jawapan kena dalam bentuk Teringkas guys, simplest form Always remember this Jangan kamu teruja sangat dah Ungkapkan tapi kamu tak sedar Kamu tak bagi jawapan kamu dalam bentuk termudah Sayang je satu markah pergi Walaupun kamu tahu dah seluruh soalan ni kamu dah master Tapi kamu hilang satu markah macam tu je Okay, wasted right? So don't waste your mark like that Because all the knowledge you have already but Because of this small kind of thing, benda-benda kecil, kamu buat, you lose law of mark in admits. Okay, so cuba faktorkan. So, try to think of faktor serupa 8 dan 36. Kamu boleh fikir 4. Kamu boleh faktorkan macam ni. Okay, can you understand this step? Boleh faham yang ni? Hmm, correct, Sugan. Yeah. Okay, so your final answer will be 2P, wait, huh? 2P plus 9Q 
over 5. Atau macam, eh, Sugan, how you get 3Q over 20? The 2P over 5, correct? 3Q over 20, yeah. I think got some mistake there. This should be the answer, guys. Yang ni, jawapan akhir kamu. Okay, so hope you understand this part. Okay, so kalau semua faham, boleh respond. Kita dah habis soalan ni. <laughs> Wrong value. It's okay. Okay, faham. Okay, so last okay, question, last guys. Question, guys. <laughs> saya dengar echo suara saya kembali. Okay, so last question. Ha. Yang ni soalan paling susah, I rasa. The hardest question saya tinggal yang kata lahir. Why do I say the hardest question, guys? Mengapa saya cakap soalan ni paling susah? Cuba tengok kat bawah ni, soalan B. Rasa takut tak kalau kamu nampak soalan ni keluar dalam exam? Do you feel scared this kind of question asked in the exam? Cuba comment. If you can do this, can do boleh this, comment. Boleh comment. Little bit. Ah, ha? Modulus lah. Ha? Bukan, yang ni this is progression chapter. Mereka suruh kamu buktikan formula ni balik kat mereka. Macam mana dapat formula ni? This is a proving question. Soalan buktikan. Boleh keluar dalam exam juga. Okay, so that is why saya kata soalan ni susah. Sebab soalan ni. Oh man, the modulus. Ha? Ini adalah condition lah. Uh, if you all remember, right? Uh, what? Sum of term in geometric progression. How many type of formula we have, guys? Hasil tambah sebutan... Dalam uh, apa janjang geometri Berapa formula kita ada Correct two. What is the condition for the two formula Apa term term and condition dia Syarat for two formulas <laughs> Hafal Never mind this one given the exam Jangan risau Yes R less than one and This one lah R greater than one Okay so mereka nak kamu buktikan yang ni This formula Okay so that one we'll do later Don't worry Kita tengok soalan ke atas dulu Okay, the simpler one we do first. So, we see this question. Uh, okay. So, they say, Ryan used colored triangle cards of different size to investigate pattern of this first triangle lah. Dia yang ni cipta bentuk segitiga macam ni lah. Okay. So, ah, yang ni. Ini info pertama. Height of the second stage triangle is half the height of triangle in first stage. Maksud yang tinggi yang ni setengah daripada tinggi yang ni. So boleh bagi tahu tak guys, what is the tinggi for this triangle? Can you calculate? Berdasarkan penyataan tu. Yes, correct Jason. 20. Simple calculation. Ya, yeah, betul. 40 bagi 2 aja. 20. Okay, so this one okay, dah diberi. Uh, okay, lepas tu soalan dah. Okay, so can you see? 40 become 20. Yang ni janjang geometri atau arithmetic, guys? Yes, geometry. correct, Jason. Betul. Okay, so apa uh, beza, uh, apa kita panggil? Nisbah sepunya dia. What is the common ratio over here? Can you all tell the R value? Nilai R dia berapa? Yes, correct. 1 over 2. Divide How two. do you get 1? Yeah, yeah, correct. 20 over 40 lah means you get 1 over 2. Okay, so this is how you get R equal 1 over 2. So, other than that, A value guys, apa nilai A kat sini? Can you all tell me? Yes, correct. 40. Very good. 40. Yeah, betul. So, we got A, we got R. Now, kita baca soalan pula. Height of triangle used in seven stage, guys. Stage yang ketujuh. Apa nilai N? What is the value of N? Yes, correct. Seven. Okay, you have your complete set of info already. Kamu ada satu set yang penuh dah. Kamu ada nilai A, nilai R, nilai N. So, apa formula kat sini you guna? TN or SN? Yes, correct. TN. Sebab mereka nak tahu ketinggian sesuatu segitiga yang spesifik saja. T7. Okay. Sebab mereka nak tahu height of triangle in 7 stage. So, kamu gantikan je dalam formula. Sebutan ke N, Jason. The N term is called as TN. Kita tak tahu nilai N. So, bila soalan keluar, mereka akan bagi tahu nilai N kat sini. Like over here. 7 stage means N equals 7. Kalau mereka kata 8 stage means N is 8 lah. 
like that berdasarkan soalan kamu tentukan nilai n dia kadang-kadang soalan akan suruh kamu cari nilai n juga like in the previous question we did so banyak bentuk lah soalan boleh keluar Okay, so T7 equals, okay, we call formula, geometry, yeah? don't use arithmetic formula here. A is 40, R is half, 7 minus 1. So can you calculate for me, guys, what is your final answer here? Untuk A1, pendek saja jalan kerja dia. Yeah, correct, 0.625 cm. Okay, make sure letak unit, uh, guys, kena ada unit kat sini. Okay, yeah, you can leave your answer as 5 over 8 also. Pecahan atau perbuluan juga diterima. Okay, so first question done already. Sekarang kita baca A2 pula. A2 pun pendek saja, tak susah pun. Number of triangle used at last stage. Okay, ah, Jason, now this your question. Number of triangle. Number of triangle kita guna simbol apa guys? Eh, eh, no, no, not TN, number of triangle, yes, N. Eh, how you get SN, guys? Number of triangle, bukan hasil tambah. We want number only, quantity, N. Okay, not SN, huh? kita tambah SN kat sini. Okay, so hope you understand that one. Uh, let me see anything else. Uh, yeah, N only, kita nak nilai N sebenarnya. So... Eh, mengapa mereka suruh yang ni? Wait, ha, let me see. Uh, oh, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Not yet, not yet. Okay, kita kena cari nilai N dulu. Tapi after that, there's another step. So wait, saya cuba cari nilai N dulu. After that, I explain to you the next step. Sebab kamu kena sedar, guys, over here. Yang ni mereka cakap pasal number of triangles. Nilai yang mereka bagi kat sini is the height of the triangle. Adakah dua quantity ini sama, guys? Are we comparing the same quantities over here? Kamu kena sedar yang tu dulu. Adakah perbandingan yang kita buat melibatkan quantity sama? No. Correct. Okay, so that is why jawapan kita tak berhenti bila kami cari nilai anda. Sebab yang ni mereka nak number of triangle, yang ni kami guna untuk cari nilai n dari ketinggian. Okay, sebab soalan kat atas semua bagi tentang ketinggian saja. Okay, so kamu cari nilai N ni dulu. So TN sama dengan 5 over 64. Like what the question say over here. Sebab the height of the triangle at the N term. Okay, Jason, N term ah, this is the value of TN, 5 over 64. We don't know what is the N value over here. We want to find now. But they say the height is 5 over 64. So TN will represent 5 over 64. Can you understand this part, Jason? Just checking with you. No, uh, uh, which part you don't understand? You don't understand why I use TN? Uh? Why TN is 5 over 64? Because TN, again, we call guys, TN is... The height of the triangle at an unknown number. Kita tak tahu nilai N ini. That is why we use TN. We want to find the N value. Ah, now you get it. Whenever you don't know the N value, always use TN, the symbol, because they will give a value over here. So this value is actually equal to TN. Okay, so I hope you can get it now. Lah. So just beware of this kind of question. Okay, so sometimes the language, the question you stuck jelas sangat, but you have to interpret it also lah. So you use the formula. So guna balik ah guys, nilai A dan R kat soalan yang pertama. N kamu tak tahu, so you tinggal only. Okay, so macam ni, 40 kamu boleh bawa kat sini. Okay, times become divide kat sini. So times 1 over 40. Divide 40 akan jadi times 1 over 40. 1 over 2 and minus 1 sama dengan 1 over 512. Okay, bila kamu sampai stage ni guys, how do we find n value? Anyone got idea? Ada kaitan dengan bab line kat sini. There is relation. Okay, good idea Sugan. Can you slot other cara guys? Any other step, any other uh, concept we have learned here? 
block two lebih susah, uh, harder way. What is the simpler way? Yes, correct, index. Sugan. Index. Ya, betul. Kalau kamu semua sedar, 512. Cuba kat calculator kamu, guys. Dua kuasa apa is 512. You can actually get a value, actually. Kalau kamu cuba. Okay? So, 1 over 2 power N equals 1 over 2 power 9 is 512. 2 power 9 nilai dia 512. Okay? So, kamu boleh keluarkan dia macam ni. Okay, yang ni index kamu kena kuat lah. Can you understand this line guys? Boleh faham? Macam mana saya keluarkan 9 jadi ke atas ni? Sebab satu kuasa 9 kamu juga dapat satu balik. Satu kuasa apapun kamu dapat satu balik. Okay? So, dari sini you can compare the value of N actually. Eh, sorry. Saya tertinggal tolak satu. Ah, so N minus 1 equal 9. So, bilangan sebutan... So now, Jason, I answer you back. When I get n equals 10, what does it mean? Means this n value now is 10. So t 10 is 5 over 64. So what can I interpret over here? The 10th triangle, triangle yang ke-10, akan mempunyai ketinggian 5 over 64 cm. Now, can you understand, Jason? This is what we are finding all this while. We want to find that n value to show that Height of the 10 triangle is, you get 5 over 64. Hmm, okay, good. But this is not our final answer, guys. Sebab, we want to know triangle used at the last stage. So, last stage kita assume adalah the 10th stage lah. Yang kita cari, n equals 10. Okay, so sekarang kamu tak tahu nilai A dan nilai R kamu. We don't know A, we don't know R. Tak boleh guna yang lepas lah, guys. Sebab sekarang number of triangle. So, can you see? Based on this diagram, apa nilai A kamu? Sekarang kita cakap pasal bilangan segitiga. First term, correct, Sugan, so one. Sebab kamu nampak satu triangle saja kat sini, in the first stage. How about the R, guys? R ni lebih complicated sikit. Can you tell me what's your R value? Wow, not bad, Jason, correct. I was so confused with this at the start, but you get the correct answer. Okay, not bad. So, macam mana dapat R is 3? Kamu kira yang berlorek saja, guys. 3 and then 1. Means, eh, no, 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 Sugan. Not 5 minus 2. Now it's janjang geometry, ya. Huh? Not arithmetic. Sekarang, this R means it's geometry. D only arithmetic. Remember that. Okay? So you see over here. One shaded triangle. 1, 2, 3. Eh? And D. How can R be same as D? R belong to geometry, D belong no, to no, arithmetic. No, no. Uh, I mean, I mean by it's just the same as D, but in different uh, way of how you uh, calculate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I understand your meaning. Sometimes make me think why you say like that. <laughs> okay, so you see here, count only the shaded, ah, uh, guys. Here you see nine shaded triangle. Here you see three. Here you see one. Mengapa saya kata kena kira yang berlorek saja? You try to see the question over here. Colored triangle. Ryan guna yang berlorek saja. Maksudnya, bila kamu kira jawapan kamu, kamu kena consider yang berlorek saja. Can you understand this, guys? Boleh faham? Jangan kira yang tak berlorek bila nak tentukan nisbah sebutnya tu. Hmm, okay, good. So, you will get three. Okay, so this one also make me confused for a while bila saya cuba buat soalan ni. Tapi, kena lihat balik arahan soalan dia. Okay, so how to count? Kamu guna baliklah formula Tn. Tn sama dengan ARN minus 1. N kamu dapat 10. A1. R3. N again. Okay. Kamu boleh dapat bilangan segi 3 dah. 19683. Jawapan dia besar. Okay. So we done this part 2 already. Okay. Until now guys. Boleh faham? Sebelum kita pergi soalan yang paling susah. Setakat ni. Ha, sekarang kita buktikan formula. <laughs> kita jadi ahli matematik pula sekarang. We become the mathematician now. Okay. How to create formula. So come. Ha, this one I will explain slowly. Sebab yang ni sangat deep. Very deep this one. Okay. So try to understand lah. Slowly but slowly. Last question ini. Ini soalan terakhir untuk hari ini. So we see carefully this one. 
Yang ni kamu kena respon dengan aktif, okay guys? Sebab yang ni saya akan pergi part by part. Kalau tak faham part tu, nanti saya proceed, nanti kamu bingung kat situ. <laughs> saya tak mahu siapa-siapa bingung kat sini nanti. <laughs> Kadang-kadang bila buat matematik ni boleh jadi bingung tiba-tiba. Sangat biasa. Mengapa semua spam like suddenly? Why you all spamming like suddenly to me? You like me a lot, is it? <laughs> Wait, uh, okay. Come, let's do the toughest question. Soalan paling suka. Okay, so how to buktikan? Maksudnya, kamu kena dapat jawapan ni balik ke jawapan akhir kamu. You need to get this answer. The examiner expect pemeriksa menjangka kamu akan dapat jawapan ni. Kalau kamu tak boleh dapat yang ni, maksudnya kamu hilang lah tiga markah ni. Senang macam tu je. If you can prove this, kamu dapat tiga markah. Kalau tak boleh, kamu dapat kosong markah. That's how it work. Proving question. Okay? I like to watch emoji flying. Watch on the screen, not the emoji. <laughs> okay, so now we try to prove. Huh? So I slowly guide you. So first step. This is geometric progression. Okay, so A is your first term. Okay, nilai A mewakili sebutan pertama kamu. Okay, make sure you understand all of this. Al mewakili nisbah sepunya. Common ratio. N mewakili apa, Jason? Your favorite? What does N represent? I ask you back. <laughs> What nilai? <laughs> What value? What do you mean? Will be specific jawapan kamu. Saya nak yang lebih spesifik. Ah, nilai tinggi ya? No, bilangan sebutan, number of terms. Remember this lah, Jason. N is actually number of terms. Yes, or keberapa also. Okay? N is called number of term. Always remember this. Okay? So now we prove the formula based on this info. Okay, so now, mereka nak prove formula SN, right? Mereka nak kamu buktikan yang SN ni, bukan TN. So, apa-apa yang kamu buat, melibatkan hasil tambah lah. Whatever you do over here involves uh, what? the sum of the numbers lah. Okay, so SN saya boleh tulis. Equals to the first term plus the second term. Yeah, saya tulis short form lah, nanti sangat panjang. Plus second term plus third term, and then so on. Boleh faham tak yang ni guys, yang saya tulis ni? Plus dot dot dot, sampai akhir lah. Sebab kita tak tahu limit sekarang. Kita tak tahu hat kita nak pergi sampai mana. Okay, so until you can understand guys, this part, can ah? Okay, so now, how do you express first term? Can you all tell me? What symbol you use for first term? Sebutan pertama. Kamu akan letak apa? Ah? Huh? One lah. No, no. First term, we have another term. Yes, A. Saya baru tulis ke atas ini. First term equal A. Ah, uh, No need to write S1, Sugan. Because, you see, ah, uh, you want to prove this formula, you know. Kamu nak buktikan formula yang ni. Kamu tak ada S1 dalam jawapan akhir kamu. Try to refer back what you want to prove. Okay? So, jangan tulis S1. Complicating you only. Okay, so second term. What can we represent second term? According to the formula of geometry progression. Eh, how to nisbah sepunya aja. We want second term, sebutan kedua. Yes, very good. AR. Macam mana dapat AR? Do you recall this formula, guys? TN equals ARN minus 1. Untuk janjang geometry, remember? So, kamu gantikan N sama dengan 2 because second term. So, it come AR 2 minus 1. Ah, so, 2 tolak 1, you get 1 lah. So, that's why jawapan dia bagi 2 AR saja. Can you understand this? Kamu akan guna formula TN untuk cari setiap nilai ni. Plus AR. Ah, you use TN formula. So, SN is basically the summing of all the TN. T1 plus T2 plus T3 like that. SN2 mewakili hasil tambah T1, tambah T2, tambah T3. Macam tu. Okay? 
So third term, can you all type out for me if you understand how to write third term? Yes, very good. Al2, correct. Kamu faham. Al3 minus 1. Hmm, so you can simplify. Become Al2. And then plus dot 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 sampai. Okay, last term what do we write guys? Last term usually Tn, right? Jadi kat sini akan kamu tulis apa? Hmm, correct. Write back the formula of Tn. Tulis balik formula Tn je. Al n minus 1. Okay, correct. So now, kamu dah ada satu persamaan. Always remember when proving geometric progression formula, guys. Bila kamu nak buktikan formula suatu janjang geometri, guna balik konsep simultaneous. Guna balik konsep simultaneous. You all still remember this, ah? Persamaan serentak. Kamu kena bentukkan dua persamaan untuk buktikan formula D. Ah, remember, progression always use this concept. Okay, so how can I form another equation from here? Macam mana saya nak bentuk satu lagi persamaan? This the hardest step. Yang ni mungkin kamu tak akan ada idea dari sini. So anyone got idea? Kalau kamu tahu macam mana nak buat soalan ni, what is my next step? I rasa tak ramai yang boleh jawab yang ni. Kalau kamu familiar dengan soalan macam ni, pernah buat, baru kamu akan tahu. Anyone got idea? Apa yang kamu akan buat? If don't know, just say don't know. Don't worry. So that I can explain. Don't know. Okay. I assume everyone don't know. Huh? So the next step, saya akan... Wow, very good, Sugan. You got the clue. Al. Where will you put the Al? Can you tell me? Kat mana kamu letak Al tu? You got the point, Adi. Yes. Correct. RSN. Very good, guys. Ini macam mana kamu nak bentuk. Cannot divide R, Sugan. If you divide R, you get SN over R. Yang tu menyusahkan kamu saja. SN over R and SN, then you want to minus off. Very difficult. So that's why kamu multiply RSN. Okay? So if I multiply R over here, kat sini semua jadi apa, guys? If I multiply R on left hand side, apa jadi kat belah kanan pula? Yes, very good. Darab R. Very good, guys. AR plus, yang ni pula, what will you get, guys, if you times R? Second term. Just to see whether you understand or not. Yes, correct. Okay, so just continue. Plus AR cube. Plus, ah, yang ni. Kat akhir ni jadi apa? This one, you have to master your indices law. What is my last term over here when I times R? Apa nilai kat akhir tu? Anyone got idea? Ah, uh, A R. Yes, correct. Who said? Who said? Got right answer. A R N. Okay, Jason. So how you do this? Yang ni kamu kena darab dengan R. Okay, same like here. Here you times R means this one also you must times R. So try to use your indices law. R over here, guys. Power what? Can you tell me? R kat atas ni kuasa dia apa? Kalau kamu darab R saja. This one is important. Yes, very good, Sugan. Power one only. Kalau mereka tak tulis apa-apa, maksud dia kuasa satu. Yes. Okay, so kamu lihat. R dengan R. Base yang sama boleh combine. Yes, correct. One minus one. Very good, Jason. So you get A, R, power, N. Okay, so that is how kamu akan dapat ARN. Macam who said to list tu lah. Okay. So hope you understand this one. Okay. So kamu dah bentuk dua persamaan. Already coming to the end. So you already form two equations. So now I want to ask you. Cuba nampak dua-dua persamaan ni. What method will I use to uh, solve? Kaida penghapusan atau kaida penggantian? Will I use elimination or substitution over here? Elimination. Yes, very good. Correct. Very good, guys. Eh, substitution cannot lah. Substitution very hard. 
can also but very tough la elimination better okay so how you do elimination kamu akan buat 2 minus 1 okay so try to type out the equation you will get rsn minus sn because 2 i minus this one okay can you understand this macam mana saya dapat yang ni rsn minus sn can you understand ah huh? okay good and then all this you do the same thing only but make sure put in bracket lah ar minus a tambah dengan ar square tolak ar tambah ar cube minus ar square and then plus the last one also it's not quite long lah plus ar n uh, Hey, actually, yeah. Hey, wait, no, 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 no need to do like this, guys. Tapalu. Do it separately. Jangan combine. Okay? So do it separately like this. AR plus AR square plus AR cube. Kamu ambil semua kat nombor dua tolak dengan yang pertama. Lebih senang. Okay, so can you understand this, guys? Saya salin balik saja sebenarnya dari atas if you see. Ah, just copy back like this. Just add a minus over here. This whole thing minus this whole thing. Okay, so this is how you do it. Ini cara dia. So sekarang you have to simplify lah. We coming closer di to the answer. This step here, guys. What can I do over here? Apa saya boleh ubah kat sebelah kiri? You can do one step. Cuba lihat balik kat formula kamu. Mereka nak SN. So, apa kamu boleh keluarkan dari sini? Uh, R. Cannot sugan. R is not a common factor over here. Cuba lihat apa yang serupa kat sini. What is the same thing you can see over here? Yes, very good, Farihin. Sn, R tolak 1. Can you understand? Macam mana saya faktorkan yang ni? Cuba darab balik. Dapat tak yang ni kat atas? Uh, if you get the same answer, means your factorization is correct. Lah. Okay, so this is how you check. And then uh, over the right hand side, yang ni complicated sikit. Kamu kena tolak satu per satu lah. Macam AR kamu tolak dengan A. Okay, AR minus A plus with AR square kamu tolak dengan AR pula. Ikut turutan je. But you don't need to minus everything guys. Kamu tak perlu minus yang ni pun. Because it's a pattern already. Kalau pattern, kamu tak perlu ulang dia sampai kat akhir. Okay? So, you just take, basically, you just take just two phantom only. Kamu ambil yang dua pertama ke atas dan bawah aja. Can you see this, guys? AR minus AR. What can I do over here? Apa uh, langkah yang saya boleh ambil? AR tolak AR. Apa jadi? Kosong, kan? Ah, hapus equals AR square minus A. Now you see another thing over here. Apa yang saya boleh buat guys? What can I do on the right hand side over here? Yes, correct. Factor it. R square minus 1. Can you see something similar like this guys? Boleh nampak tak? Kamu boleh mula nampak persamaan dia dah. You almost buktikan already. So what I can do over here Yang ni N, right? So, apa yang saya boleh ubah kat dua ni? What can I change to the two over here? Sekarang kita nak SN yang tak tahu nilai dia. Tapi kat sini ada dua. So, apa yang kamu akan buat kat dua tu? Yes, tukar N. Correct. Follow your equation back. Okay, kalau N kat equation kamu maksudnya RN, maksudnya N, N akan datang lah kat atas. Jangan bubur dua tu. Sebab we don't want S2. Kita nak SN. So, R juga kuasa N. Okay, so can you see guys? Adakah kamu dah buktikan formula? This formula very familiar to you all. I rasa kamu dah nampak formula ni dah. Dan Kita dah buktikan formula janjang geometri guys. We already proved it. Can you understand? Boleh faham? Atau bingung? Can understand, huh? I do slowly for you all. So, this is how we prove it. Okay? So, actually, kalau sekadar info, huh? just as an info, uh, 
apa buktikan formula ni keluar dalam SPM saya. This question came in SPM tapi bukan yang ni lah. Mereka suruh buktikan yang TN. I rasa dalam SPM saya. The formula of TN not SN lah. So uh, I rasa tahun kamu mungkin tak keluar maybe since my year already come out. So form 5 I don't think this they will ask again. But form 4 I not sure lah. Kalau kamu form 4 sekarang mungkin ada chance untuk keluar dalam SPM. So ingat yang ni. Who knows this might be your SPM question one day. So ingat betul-betul cara ni. This one priceless lah guys. Tidak ternilai yang ni. Because I do the working for you all over here. Okay so hope you understand lah. So with that kita habis 15 minit awal. We done the whole thing already. So fast. Very good you all. Kita dah habis dah semua soalan. Okay so uh, just a quote for you all. So, uh, sekarang kamu semua sekolah menengah, right? So, make sure to create memories with all your friends. Kalau kamu sekarang rasa macam nak study exam je, just remember kamu juga ada kenangan yang kamu kena buat dengan with your high school mates lah. Because lepas SPM macam saya, you will not meet them anymore. Di. Yeah, you will not meet your friend bila dah habis sekolah. Sangat sedih tau, very sad. Bila kamu sampai stage tu, baru akan... Kamu rasa, you will feel it a lot when you don't see your friend anymore. Tapi sekarang you all see, so kamu tak hargai. So kena hargai masa ni lah dengan kawan kamu. Sebab tak akan lama. Time pass very fast one. Okay, so ya lah, that's my advice. So kalau kamu rasa bermanfaat, I will always upload maths and add maths video to help you guys. Okay, kat channel saya. So please help to like, share and subscribe lah. To your friend also. This is my channel. Okay, YouTube. So, boleh subscribe lah. Kalau tahu. <laughs> tak perlu panggil cikgu lah. I'm not even a teacher lah. I'm just a normal person only. Budak biasa je. <laughs> okay, so. Can give feedback. Macam mana kelas hari ni? Do you all understand? Sebab last week a lot don't understand. Because I made mistakes. So, do you feel better now? Tentang bab janjang? After today's class, kita buat tiga soalan hari ini. Understand better, huh? I hope you all feel better about this chapter now. Sebab banyak struggle yang ni. Hmm. Next week, you know, we all do what, guys? 8 over 10. Ah, orang baru lah. So, you need to see part 1 over here. Huh? Guys, part 1 video kat sini. Huh? Part 1 kat channel saya. Hmm, so, next week saya akan buat bab form 5 for admats. Uh, permutation and combination. Kamu semua geram bab tu kan? <laughs> permutation and combination so good, not bab tu. Bab tu I already done in my channel. Bab pembezaan ada kat channel saya dah, form 5. Uh, I know a lot one permutation and combination. Actually, that chapter I also don't like a lot. Saya tak suka bab tu pun sebab uh, Wah, she don't want to teach. See? Cikgu pun tak mau ajar. Because it's a very... I, how to say? Uh, the chapter is like uh, Tough to imagine. Suka nak bayangkan apa yang berlaku. Because it's about probability. Something like that. About chances. So, kamu kena banyak fikir bab tu. Jalan kerja dia sangat pendek guys. Bukan macam ni. Permutation and combination. Ha? Jalan kerja dia dua saja, Dua baris. Kamu lihat yang ni. Bab ni. Berapa panjang jalan kerja dia. Permutation, combination, two line. Two line, kamu dapat jawapan terus. But that two line is the hardest part of your life. Untuk fikir dua baris ni adalah yang akan bagi kamu mental breakdown. Just to tell you all, this is, these two lines actually give you mental breakdown. breakdown. <laughs> so actually doing macam 10 baris dalam match is actually better. Kamu kena bersyukur. 10 lines is better than 2 lines. Okay, because 10 lines actually don't involve so much thinking. It's more of working step only. Jalan kerja saja. Tapi 2 lines involve a lot of imagination. Mm, confusing, yeah. Even I also feel very confusing. So I need to prepare a lot lah for that class before I teach you all. So yang tu sangat risky. Even for me to come and teach 